Hey Pisces, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Pisces, are you ready for your 2019? Readings, cause that's what you're gonna get, be ready or not. Here they come, Pisces, Pisces. What's good, Pisces? 2K19, y'all. What's in store? I'm so, so, so. So, so, so excited to see what's going on for 2K19, y'all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. We're going into the new year with a fresh new perspective, going into it with a new fresh bang. Let's see what's coming in for love, guys. Let's see what's going on. I'm Pisces. So I'm definitely, you know, curious to see what's what's coming in, what's going on, or whatever. <laughs> All right. So what messages do we have for Pisces? Oh wow, where did this come from? All right, Pisces for January 2019. January 2019, Pisces. Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising, Pisces, please. What's coming in? What's what does Pisces have in store for 2019, January? Okay, so I want to do this. This is going to be for the first. No, this is going. This is going to be from the first through the fifteenth. Okay, the first through the fifteenth. All right, we got romantic feelings here. All right, so your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, Pisces. Hmm. 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 Juicy. 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 I gotta get some clarifiers. Please give me some clarifiers for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising Pisces for. January, January 2019, please. All right, guys. All right, so I see past energy. I'm sensing that there was a need to pay attention to some red flags. Like the signs was cautioning you, okay? I feel like the signs was cautioning you. I feel like some of you guys were trying to calling a soulmate, but there was something that you needed to pay attention to, okay? There's a sense of codependency here. It's like codependent on a friend or friends or a social circle presently. I feel like that's what's going on presently. There's a sense of codependency here, like depending on friends. But I feel like some of you guys are going to be deciding to let go of control issues, and some of you guys are going to be releasing the egg. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the hangman. This is the card of Pisces as well, too. But this is when things are on hold, okay? So it's like, there's an offer here, but it's like, you're putting it on hold. Yeah. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. What? Okay. We well, pay attention to the red flags, guys. I do see that there was caution here. There's a need to be cautious. Something was hidden. Okay. We got the moon card. This is the card of Pisces as well, too. But this talks about things being hidden. Something here about a partnership or a building a foundation here. Um, I feel like you were being cautious. I feel like some of you guys decided to take a break or something something was on your mind about a soulmate or 
or someone had the potential to be a soulmate. A lot of you guys were using affirmations and visualization and prayers. Um, and some of you guys have been meditating on what you want in regards to a soulmate. Present energy. There's some codependency here. Someone's, you feel like someone was making you wait. Possibly because they feel like you need them here with codependency. Or some of you guys are dealing with some type of addictions. Um, but something here is about being patient. Somebody was making somebody wait here. Let your friends help you. I feel like here with this Queen of Wands and this Empress card, someone is having some wow. Someone is being a little wow here. Or there's something that was hidden that possibly came out about a third party situation here. Maybe that was what was being kept a secret. And maybe some friend decided to give you some information here. Going into the near future, let go of control issues. Things are changing. I feel like you guys are going to be changing how you relay a message or how you speak to someone. Uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords. There could be some spying going on as well, too. But release your ex. Someone is going to be saying, like, they happy to let somebody ass go. Bye. <laughs> okay. Those are your messages um, with the love oracle deck. Let's get to let's get straight to the tarot, okay? So let's see what messages directly does Spirit have. What messages do you have for Pisces from January first through January fifteenth, two thousand nineteen? This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. So if you have Pisces. In, your, in those areas of your chart, you can apply this video to you as well. Or if you're cross-watching, I know we have a lot of cross-watchers. Y'all make sure y'all leave comments too, all right? We got this devil card here, okay? Capricorn energy. Oh, okay, this is about someone that's asking for sex. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. There's some, either some spying going on or someone is going to be speaking their truth. Like, somebody's going to be, like, shocked about what somebody said. You're going to be staying positive, though. Whatever this is, I feel like someone is wanting control here. Someone wants control. Hmm. Because I feel like some of you guys are going to be. Why is the page of swords here? Ah. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys are going to be making someone I feel like you are going to be making someone um, speak their truth. Or I feel like you're going to give somebody something to look at. Why is the full card here? Some of you guys are going to be is something taking a leap of faith or a risk here? Possibly to like get back and gain control. But I feel like some of you guys are going to be making someone speak their truth or you go get, I'm just saying like giving someone something to look at. Okay. You want to, you want to look? Okay. Well, we'll give you something to look at. Um, something here. Something here is ringing like. 
staying positive. Staying positive here. Going into the near future, we got the Sun card and the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So it's like staying positive. You're going to be stable. Why is the Four of Wands here? You still you you're good. Like you're good. I feel like some of you guys are having fun. You're having fun with this. So I can see I see a Leo, Leo's energy here a lot. Fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Some of you have decided to push. Uh, decided to push something or someone away. It's like you're resisting uh, love here in the past. And I'm sensing like going into the near future, like I'm staying, I'm still, I'm staying positive. That's what's up, Pisces. That's what's good. That's what's good, baby. Please give me a past, present, and future for Pisces. Please give me a past, present, and future for Pisces, please, for January 1st through the 15th. January 1st through the 15th. All right, I see you planning and preparing. Got the two of wands here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. Past energy, eight of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but this is putting in effort. This is putting in work. I feel like there could have possibly been some conflict that um, that you were stuck in or feeling stuck in um, in the past. Presently, we got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but both of these people are very cutthroat and they're seeking after the truth. There's a sense of abandon, abandonment or um, feeling of being left out in the cold or not having enough to offer. Maybe someone doesn't have enough to offer you. I feel like going into the near future, we got the King of Wands, fire energy, but this is about taking action. Um, I feel like there's a sense of waiting for some type of truth to be revealed, okay? Um, someone here is possibly being um, a player here with this King of Wands energy. Ten of Wands is when there's, there's a load, like there's a lot of, um, a lot of something possibly even too much, um, wanting to let something go because the load is really heavy. With this Ace of Swords, this is getting the clarity that you need, but I feel like it's like you're waiting for some type of truth to be revealed going into the near future. All right, guys, that is going to be the message that I have for Pisces, all right? First through the 15th. I hope you guys have a very, very, very lovely New Year's, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Mwah. See you next week, guys.